Hey everybody, um, this is my horrible Walmart experience. Everybody has horrible experiences, but this is bad for me. Especially with having a two-year-old, well, he'll be two November the 3rd, but, uh, this is what I got, and before I get into this, I'm going to tell you why it was so bad. Okay, I went to the self-checkout. That was probably my first mistake. Um, and at the Walmart I went to, they had <coughs> these right here. <coughs> um, I guess they just got them in, and they had a shelf full of them. And I had these coupons with me. And I was going to get three of them, because I only had three coupons with me. And I was checking out, and when I went to go scan this, it did not scan. So the guy came over, and he manually put it in, three of them, and then I think he ended up putting all this in manually, because I had a coupon for everything here, too. But it was saying that my balance was negative $9 and some change, and I was like, whoa, you know, if you want to give me $9, okay, whatever, but I don't know what he did. He did something and messed up, but <clears throat> so he got a uh, manager to come over, and this manager guy, he was not very nice at all. He was like, um... What did you uh, get? And da, da, da. I don't know. He was just being a jerk. But he was saying that these coupons right here cannot be used for this. And I was like, Are you serious? I said, I have bought many, many before, and I've never had a problem. And I was like, Why? And he said, because it says, uh, oh, on scrapping right. bubbles, one step toilet bowl cleaner starter kit. Kit includes starter and refill. And I'm like, okay. Um, mm. And I was like, what do you think this is? Mm. And, and right here, I, I pointed to him, I was like, kit. One step toilet bowl cleaner kit. One device, one refill is what I said to him. I, and he said, well, it's not the same thing. I'm like, uh, yeah, it is. I said, the only difference is this has a yellow stripe on the box and the other one don't. I said, if you look inside, they're exactly the same. He said, no, they're not. I'm like, okay, whatever, just take them off. And so, I took them off, but this is something that I've already had. Yeah, baby. Um, so, on to this. Um, I had a coupon for everything here. Um, I had one of them $2 coupons uh, for this. And I had a dollar off coupon, dollar off coupon. Uh, $4 off of two, and these are the only two packs they had, and these have the $3 coupons inside, so I can use them. And then I had the dollar off of all of them. And I also got two blushes, but I gave them to my friends. And I had the $8 off of two CoverGirl items. So... This is what my receipt says. Um, let's see. Uh, subtotal was $17.98. That is so silly. $17.98 for two packs of razors, five little body washes, and three little things of toothpaste, and two blushes. But anyway, um... So I had a coupon for everything. Let's see, a dollar off, dollar off, two dollars off, 
dollar, 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 four dollars, and an eight dollar. My subtotal was negative three dollars and two cents. And I don't know why it's still tax, but whatever. And my tax was a dollar eight. So, uh, my total was negative a dollar ninety four. So I got a dollar ninety four back, and he is putting change into this, which I don't guess it matters for y'all to see my change. But uh, so for twelve items, I got say two dollars back, which that's good. But my experience with that thing was awful. Oh my goodness. I cannot believe that he said that that coupon is not for that. And the people who have baby be careful and the people who have uh, put it through before were wrong. They were in the wrong. I'm like, no, you're in the wrong. <laughs> oh my goodness. It is just so silly. I mean, how can you say that is not a kit when it says kit right on the box? It's so silly. Oh, well, maybe I'll still go back and not go through the self-checkout because I was in the self-checkout for I don't know how long. I'm telling you, at least 30 minutes because the guy that was running the self-checkout, it was some young guy, and I'm guessing he was fairly new, and, you know, he was saying, I'm sorry, you know, he's like, I don't really know about these coupon things. Oh, and, all right, I did the self-checkout, and I told him to take the scrum bubbles off, you know, and they're still having problems. I said, wouldn't it be easier if I just took all my stuff to the register and just do it all like that? I said, yeah, if you want to. That's what the manager said. So I went up to the guy's register that was at the self-checkout, and he uh, rang everything up. And before that, the manager was like, you don't ever give cash back. And I heard him say that. I'm like, oh, my God, are you serious? But, um... <laughs> Anyways, and then after he rang up everything, took all my coupons off, uh, he owed me, you know, a dollar ninety four and he was like, But he just told me that I can't ever give cash back and I was like, Oh my gosh. And so the guy never came back the manager never came back over and then another woman manager came over and she's like, Yeah She looked at it. She's like, Yeah. She's like, just give her a dollar ninety four back. I'm like, oh my gosh, all this time for what? Nothing. But um <laughs> anyways, sorry, I'm just sitting here ranting and raving about this. It's just so annoying because little man was getting irritated. I was irritated because we were in the line for thirty minutes. Not in the line, but you know, the self checkout or whatever area for at least 30 minutes. And it was just so ridiculous. He was irritated. And oh, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. Um, but yeah, I came up with a dollar ninety four, so I guess I can't complain too much. Um, but all right, I'll talk to you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.